I'm Sherry with Sprinkling Joy Creations, back with another DIY project for you. And this is my second DIY project. My first was my lantern made out of Dollar Tree frame. So check out my channel if you want to see that video. It turned out gorgeous. Um, but today we're going to be making these little twine flowers. And I know these have been around for a long time and lots of people have made them, but I am just learning to make them and I am having so much fun making them. And I had shared some on um, Facebook and a lot of you had asked for a tutorial. So I thought, why not? Let's try to put together a quick tutorial because I have watched so many videos and tried so many times and could never figure it out. So I just took a little bit from each video that I watched and then kind of just tweaked it a little bit and and figured out what worked for me and that's kind of what you have to do so today I'm just going to show you kind of what I learned and what works for me so let's go over our supplies list first of course you have your twine and you can get this anywhere Dollar Tree carries it but it's almost always out of stock so you can get it at Dollar Tree, Walmart, any craft store and it's relatively cheap no matter where you get it. Uh, you're gonna need your uh, floral twine. This is 26 gauge. Again, you can get this almost anywhere. Dollar Tree car carries floral twine. Any craft store. You'll need your scissors and your wire cutters. Buttons. Who knew that Dollar Tree carried buttons? I had no idea. They carry these cute little plastic jars of buttons, so you'll need your buttons for the center of your flowers. And also, some sort of little clip if you want. You don't have to use these, but if you have trouble holding your, when we make our loops, we'll wrap them around our hand, and if, and if you have trouble holding them when you take them off, then you might use some kind of little clip to to hold them while you're wrapping your wire around them. That just might be, be helpful for some people. And then also, I have this little cardboard form that I use for making bows, and this would be way too big for a flower unless you wanted a gigantic flower, but you could cut it down and make it the right size to make these flowers where you would just wrap your twine around this form and it would just make it more uniform and more even. So if you're kind of a perfectionist, then this might be something you might want to think about doing. So that's all of the supplies. Your hot glue, of course. You'll need hot glue for um, for your button, to put your button on. And I showed you in my other video, but I just love this. This is just a scraper from Dollar Tree and that's what I use to put my hot glue gun on. It works perfectly. So I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and get started on making our flowers. So your first step is figuring out how big you want your flower. You need to determine a thickness of your flower and how big a round you want your flower. You can see that these two are different sizes. And then this one is thicker. It's quite a lot thicker than this one. So that's your two decisions that you have to make right off the bat. And how you determine that, you take your twine and I start it right here at the top of my finger. And I like to go around three loops. That's the size that I like. And I'm gonna choose four fingers. You can do a two finger, a three th finger, a four finger, or even spread your fingers apart if you wanted it even bigger. But for today, I'm gonna do a four finger, one, two, three, and then I go all the way back around to the top. That's just how I like to do it. You don't have to do that. Cut it. Then take it off your fingers. You have basically just a circle right here. And then all you're going to do is just pinch it together in the middle. Just to make a little bow. A little bow tie basically is what you're doing. And it's going to try to twist on you when you start messing with it. But don't let it twist on you because it doesn't work out as good. And 
The way I do it, I take that, I showed you that I take that other one all the way back to the top of my fingers whenever I cut it off. That gives me three loops on one side and four loops on the other side. And I just feel like that, for me, that works out better. It just, I feel like it fills it in better. So when you cross them, because you're going to make another loop just like this. I've got one already made here. I'll show you. You're going to make another one and just put it on top of this one. So when you go to do that, you got your three loops here and your four loops down here. Of course, you'll have them spread out. But So if you've got three loops here, then you want to look at this one and say, okay, then I want my four loops to go on this side. So you've got three loops here, four loops here, and that just kind of spaces them out a little bit better. I did forget to go ahead and cut my floral wire. So you would want to cut your floral wire before you get this in your hand. It's just going to be a lot easier if you do that. And there's really no set amount, just how whatever you're comfortable with. I'd say five inches or so is more than enough of the floral wire. You're just going to take and get that floral wire underneath there. Go and just wrap it around and it doesn't matter at this point if it's exactly centered or not. It does not have to be exactly centered at this point. And twist it around a couple of times. It don't have to be super tight at this point. Got that done and those kind of stay up where they're out of your way and then you're just gonna spray little petals out. Now you can see that you have these little tails and you will cut those off eventually, but I don't cut them off now because you still have lots, lots of opportunities to be able to pull and tug on this to, to move it around and change sizes of the loops if you need to. So I usually wait till the very last thing to, to cut those, those little pieces off. And you just kind of spread them out like that. And then that's your first loop. Okay, so then you're just going to do the exact same thing again. Again, I started at the top of my finger. One, two, three, and then back around. And usually go in between that finger right there to hold it. And I will check them. You can see, because this one is really loose. So you do kind of want to... And this first one, I find, I usually just take it and pull it just a little bit before I start. Because your fingers are wider at this part, so it makes your loops a little bit off. Which, there's no flower in nature that is exactly perfect, and ours don't have to be perfect either. So you get your other loop and you're going to pinch that together in the center and then you're just going to take your petal that you did first and this is kind of important and I hope you can see this because let me put my wires back if you had your wires perpendicular like this perpendicular to these petals and you tried to put this in here it's going to automatically just try to put it right on top of your other one. It's going to move it to that position regardless of where you put it. You don't want that. You just want to move these around just a little bit to where they're just kind of catty corner. They're just off centered a little bit to where you can put this you can put this set of loops on top of this in an X form. Not necessarily a cross form but an X form. And then you'll just take this, just like you did before, just get it tied on there, and twist it around a couple times. Again, it doesn't, and see, I forgot to look and make sure, and I did it wrong. See, I've got three here, three loops on this one, and three loops on this one. So now I've got two with four down here, so that's going to 
you know, that's going to kind of make it a little bit thicker down there. I'm going to go ahead and change it. And I'm going to check this time where my, where my loops are. Okay, I've got my four down here. My four down here. So go back to this. Get our little wire in the right position again. You got your three here. So then I would want my four. So I'm going to move that around to where the four is at the top. Put this in there. And I try to hold it down. Give it a good twist or two just to make sure it's in there. Good. And pull your loops up so they're out of your way, or your wire ends up out so they're out of your way. And then you're going to, again, the same thing, just kind of move your little petals around until you get them where you want them. And, then, and also, like, I can see that this one to me looks like it's bigger than the other one. So then I want to find which one I need to pull to make that smaller. And you just got to kind of play around until you find which one it is. Because pulling one will affect something and pulling another one will affect something. There we go. That's... And then these also, your little ends, you can pull those as well. If you're pulling and you can't figure out it's not, nothing's working, then nine times out of ten, it's going to be one of these little ends that you need to pull. So that's two of your loops. So then you're going to take and do, again, start at the top of your finger. One, two, three, back around. Snip. Scissors stuck. Snip. There we go. Let's grab those, take them off. There we go. Okay. And then you're going to take your little wires and you're going to move them straight out like this. You can see this is your space right here where you're going to put these loops. Once you get it on there relatively tight for this one, I'm going to grab those two and just start twisting your flower around to get it tighter. Alright, then you start moving these and making sure they look like they're the right, they're all the right sizes. And then just start again. You just got to go back through again and just start separating your flowers. You do this several times. This is probably where most people make their mistake. They give up too soon. They, they get aggravated because they're not doing what they feel like they should be doing. It doesn't look right. Whatever. And they just give up and quit. And if you just keep on messing with them, you usually can get it to look pretty good. And again, in nature, you know, if you think of flowers in nature, there's no perfect flower. They're all, they all have imperfections just like us. And then once you get it to where you feel like it's satisfactory to you, and you're really the only one that matters, I mean, it's your flower. So if it looks good to you, then it's good. People base their, whether their project is a success or failure on what other people think. If you like it, you like what you created, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Once you get it to where you feel like you're okay with it, and go ahead and flatten out these little wires. You take it and just push it down like that. Just kind of flatten those wires down just to kind of where it's going to hold its shape a little better for you. And there you have your flower. And you just find your button, whatever button you want to use. And a lot of times when you'll look at it when it's like this and you'll think, oh, I just really don't like that. It just really doesn't look like a flower. But then whenever you find your button or your jewel or whatever it is that you're going to put in the middle of it and you put it in there, 
and it's just it just makes it gorgeous I mean it just takes your little regular flower and just adds a little something to it and just makes it so pretty so you just take your button of your choice whatever size you want and get your hot glue gun out and just put it on there put hot glue on it and hold it until it until it gets dry a little bit and then and then there you've got your your perfect little perfect little flower that you created one of these thicker ones I'm not gonna go through the process because it's the exact same process you do three sets of the loops you you know straighten them out fluff them out a little bit it just makes a thicker flower if if you had a project for whatever it might be that you needed a thicker flower then it's just it's the same exact thing you just have to decide how many times you want to go around so like for that one I went around one two three four five six seven eight eight times to get this thickness and that's with my four finger flower you can do these like I said four fingers three fingers two fingers however you want to do them but that's I mean that's how you would do that you can just see that you have a whole lot more loops so you can go as many or as little you know thick or thin as you want it to be so you can just see how you do the same exact thing you would just pinch it in the middle make your little your little bow tie make sure they stay on top of each other you would have your your little bow tie just like that just like you did on the other one and you just make three of these and put your first one this way and then make your X pattern and then your last one would go right in the middle and you just put your wire around it just like you did on the other one and then put your button on and cut off your little tails and and that would make you that would make you this this thicker flower and then you know like I showed you earlier you can see like this one here I believe this tiny little flower I think that it was either two fingers or three fingers I can't remember which one that was but you can just see that you got a little it's just a little daintier looking I hope that I was able to give you something because I've watched tons of YouTube videos like I said earlier and I just never could get it get anything to work so I just kind of played around with it and and really the, the main difference is the wire you know I feel like when you try to to tie it with twine it makes it too thick and that's and you can't get it to set evenly and it just that's what makes it so thick and it makes it not work is trying to tie it with something thick and so I feel like you know what this floral wire is what makes the difference and making it a lot easier and making it where you can kind of push it down and, and hold it together good so so anyway guys I hope I hope this helped you and I hope you figure it out if you if you guys make some flowers um please put them down in the comments put pictures down in the comments so I can see what you made and um, if you would again like and subscribe to my channel and please share this video also I have a Facebook page um, it's www.facebook.com forward slash sprinkling joy creations dot love creating so if you type all that in it'll take you straight to my Facebook page all right thanks again guys god bless I'll see you next time